Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men confidently approach women to find the woman of their dreams. Now, guys, I'm glad you tuned in today because this is going to be about emotions. And it's nothing about human emotions that are really all that exciting for men to talk about. Maybe even not that exciting to listen to. But I want you to hear me out on this one. I'm going to give you both the scientific reason around emotions, as well as the logical reasonings behind emotions. But first, I've got to tell you, yesterday I was at the grocery store with my wife, and this little girl, she couldn't have been two years old, she is crying her eyes out, tears just streaming down her cheeks. The poor little thing was really cute, dressed really cute, and mom and the older daughter were trying to calm her down. I don't know why she was upset, but needless to say, probably for a good strong five or six minutes, she was crying at the top of her lungs. Now guys, was she having an emotional moment here? Well, yes, of course she was. And here's what I'd like to let you know. Because oftentimes you hear moms say, Billy, get a hold of yourself. Stop reacting that way. Get a hold of your emotions. Well, the reality is guys, we cannot get a hold of our emotions. We have zero control over our emotions. Zero. All right, now you're thinking, Patrick, I'm going to argue this point. Well, let's just look at this, guys, okay? From the logical perspective, when we get emotionally charged, let's say we get emotionally upset. Well, some people go off to a tirade. I've even experienced women going into a rage, which is beyond just getting upset because they couldn't control their emotions. Nobody can control their emotions. Here's what we can do, guys. We can re we can control our responses, our actions, how we react to an emotionally charged situation. Now, sometimes that reaction is happiness. I want you to think about the guys. Oftentimes, these are professional golfers that win the Augusta, the Masters. They win at the old course, the Saint An at St. Andrews, and they win the, the Open or the U.S. Open, or they win the World Series. They go crazy. They get excited. They don't really have control of their emotions, guys. That excitement, that oh, pissed off emotion, those are emotions that's just going to happen. What we can do is control our response, our reaction, how we act, what we say, what we do. Let me give you the science behind this. The subconscious mind, I've mentioned this many times, but perhaps you haven't seen it in my videos. The subconscious mind is extremely powerful. It's like the almighty Oz. In fact, the subconscious mind is controlling what you do every day. Between 85 and 95% of everything you do every day, your subconscious mind is controlling. And it's also extremely powerful, more than 50,000 times more powerful than that weak conscious mind. Housed in your subconscious mind are your emotions. Oh my gosh. And they are strong and they do control the way we act, the way we think and the things we do every day. That subconscious mind is in charge of what we do every day. So you may not believe that. Look it up. I've got tons of evidence and I'll be to send you something. Send me an email, shoot me an email, say, Patrick, where does it say that? Anyway, let's get back to the emotions. When we get emotionally charged, we tend to sometimes overreact. Have you ever experienced that? Maybe from a friend of yours, or perhaps even while you're in a relationship, or maybe you even overreacted. I've done that many times, overreacting because you get emotionally charged. So guys, here's the key. We need to understand what our emotions, we need to understand what we're feeling, whether it's happiness, sad, anger, whatever it may be. And then we need to take a response and think about what we really want to accomplish within that emotion. If that emotion is about love, for instance, well, how can we pursue a woman who we get feelings of love? Well, guys, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you do exactly that. When you feel like you're charged with all kinds of enthusiasm and excitement for a woman and you don't know how to approach her, 
Or maybe you have and you've struck out. Yeah. I'm here to help out. So remember, we are not in charge of our emotions. Our subconscious mind is, it determines how we're going to feel. We can consciously try to change that. That's okay. But the big thing is, is guys, we need to control our actions based on the emotional charges that we get. Guys, I really hope that this has helped clarify the difference between the subconscious and the conscious mind, as well as how we can control our actions when we get emotionally charged. Thanks for tuning in. Gentlemen, we'll see you in the next video.